Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And look, man, we got some new 2K23 leaked ratings. We finna go over all of them. And we got some more gameplay, man. So make sure y'all drop a like on this video, man. It helps out the vid a lot. Subscribe, all that. So as you can see right here, here are the new leaked ratings, man. Steph Curry is a 93. I personally think these past two seasons, and y'all let me know, are um, Curry's best seasons ever, bro. Um, he like actually proved something. Way more than the previous years when Clay was like a god. You know, when he was that guy, I really think like he proved he could carry the team and like, I think he's actually a better player these past couple years than he was now. Y'all let me know if y'all think that's true, bro, because I don't think he could have done that carrying that that year. He like messed up his wrist. and sh I think that was cat. I think that was cat. You know, I think he just wanted to be out because he knew it was a waste of time. man. I think if he would have played that season, he would have got exposed as not being able to carry a team by himself. But dude, dude got better, and now he can really carry by himself. That that's what I personally believe, my boy. Now, um, these other ratings are quite disrespectful, bro. I really think this they just won the championship. How is they? Cur I think Curry should be the highest overall he's ever had. So this is probably too low. Uh, Jordan Poole, eighty-two. Uh, how is he higher than Clay Thompson? Disrespectful. Clay, I believe, should be in the top seventy-five easy like no contest i don't know how he's an 80 overall that is extremely disrespectful extremely andrew wiggins at 83 eh. and draymond green at 82 very disrespectful again okay he's not the greatest on ball defender but i believe he has a immaculate iq and all these guys have immaculate team defense that's why they got like od like like, they always have a great, like, defensive team, bro. And, you know, Draymond has to be higher than this. Like, because it's not just Curry carrying these niggas, bro. Like, they're winning as a team effort. Their style, their game plan, and then the players playing their shit right. But um, Chris Paul's an 88. Devin Booker's an 89. Uh, uh, who y'all think should be higher? Chris Paul or Devin Booker, man? Bridges is an 82. Crowder, DeAndre. I don't know. I don't, I don't really fuck with these ratings. Y'all let me know who whose ratings um y'all agree with and what um rating y'all think they should be at, man. Okay, so as you can see, there's actually is three bars again under the stamina bars, bro. I still I still don't know what it is, bro. I'm trying to figure it out, man. But um yeah, okay, Chris Paul getting past these niggas. Okay, passing it out. Um slow pass is still out there. Okay, we got bad AI. You know, this 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 99 niggas at the three-point line. Okay, we still know the AI is created garbage. D scissor, get on your shit. What what's this big ass nigga doing at the three-point line? Uh, that nigga look big as fuck that. So right here, we got a jump shot. Okay, we, we gonna see if this goes green or if it's a full white, even if it goes in. Do y'all believe this is a contest? Y'all let me know down below if you believe this is a contest. This is a huge debate within the community if this shit should be a contest or not because you know niggas be hand down man down right so it looks like pool has lost some of his stamina so he's probably been using this guy a lot so maybe he has some dope sigs leak 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 we gonna when we get the game we have to go in and see what sigs that nigga got he probably liked that nigga but um it seemed like he using this guy a lot to where he lost some stamina that he could never get back and it's been like capped out at a lower uh rate you can see an even clearer picture of the three bars. What is these three bars? But um, y'all let me know if y'all think this is a contest, man. I'm going to tell y'all one thing right here, bro. This is a contest. Not a crazy contest, but it's a contest. It should not be zero contested. None of that. And I'm going to tell you why, bro. If you're shooting the ball wide open and no one's near you, no one's in your radius, right? That's uncontested. 
But if someone's standing next to you, even without their hand up, you then become intimidated and you become more intimidated based off who they are. And then you become more intimidated if they could block your shot or have the ability to to really like you're in fear that they could close out and, you know, block your eyes or block your shot or just who they are could intimidate you to shoot it faster, shoot it too late, shoot it too early, shoot it, angle it. This happens without them even putting their hand up. You know, it's a contest. These are grown ass men with like legacies. They're known and all that. Like it's a contest. You don't even have to put your hand. He's he's in his circle. He's in his radius. So it should be a contest. A lot of y'all think it shouldn't be a contest at all. You don't make sense. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. It really is. Like if Curry's shooting wide open with no one there, he's going to hit way more than if Anthony Davis or LeBron is standing right in front of him with no hand up. That's a fact. But again, I'm not saying this should be a heavy contest or even unmakeable. I'm just saying it should count as some sort of contest, okay? That's all I'm saying. Because people should be rewarded to getting wide open. This is not wide open. Someone like me, I can get like really open and I don't feel rewarded based off of people that can barely get open and struggle to get open and they take more contested type shots. I should see a way higher make percent without effort just based off my ability to get wide open. Was this hoe a green? Is this a green? It might have been a green. It might have been a green. Ooh. He green in that nigga? Shout out to Young LSK for that footage, though. Anywho, man, Young EJ tweeted out, not gonna lie, if your girl don't buy you 2K23, get rid of her ass. Do y'all got a special someone, a girl you talk to, your bitch, you know, your wife, that's gonna get you 2K23? Or do you have to get it yourself? Or do you have to ask your little mommy? Huh? Or your dad? If you got one, nigga. <laughs> I'm joking. But, um, yeah, man, y'all y'all let me know. It's a sad story if you ain't got a bitch to buy you the 2K, man. I don't know how this nigga Davo be going viral so much, bro, on Twitter. That shit is crazy. But nigga said, y'all better not be out here buying NBA 2K23 on PS4, right? I agree with this statement. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. This shit got 20K likes. And it was posted yesterday, bro. 20K likes. So this, this is actually like, it excites me. Nigga, 20,000 people are going to get that hoe on next gen type shit. You know, and this, this is a day. Like this, a lot, everyone ain't seen this, you know? So it's like, maybe everybody getting that hoe on PS5. Maybe a lot more people than we think, man. Solo tweeted out, I'm hearing that in NBA 2K23, Mike Wayne has added fist fighting into all park games, man. That would be amazing. Y'all let me know if y'all would love fist fighting and um 2K, man. <laughs> I would love to just beat the shit out of a nigga that's running away from me. Beat his ass so bad. You know, if niggas run away, maybe you could beat their ass and make them wait 30 minutes from running from you type shit. That would be lit. I bet you niggas would stop running away then. <laughs> but no, oh, th this reminds me of one thing, bro. They fucked up 2K, bro. Y'all need to start uh, fucking complaining to these niggas about this shit too, bro. We used to be able to run. After we beat a nigga, we used to be able to run to the sideline and dance in front of their face. You can't do that shit no more. It pisses me off. Don't y'all miss that shit? It used to... It used to make people want to spin because you're dancing in their face. Like, you do the heart shit, all that different type of shit. It was amazing, bro. They got to add that shit back, bro, because it's like you can't really see it. They trying to add, like, some sportsmanship bullshit. Nigga, fuck you. 
Make this shit toxic, man. That shit make it funny. And it'll help people get more games because they'll want to spend. Anywho, make sure y'all subscribe if you're new, man. I'm going to be dropping all the 2K23 leaks and news. All the best uh, jump shots, builds, tips, and hilarious toxic gameplay, man. So make sure y'all subscribe. Hit that like. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.